So, today we're going to be playing with solar panel Christmas lights. Now, I know it's a little bit early in the year to actually be putting up lights, I know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I bought these probably a few years ago. They got a five year lifespan warranty to it, whatever. Uh, they last longer than that, trust me. Um, I probably bought these like five years ago. Uh, they were on sale from like 30 something dollars when they first came out. They're on sale for about 12 bucks. Great deal. I bought a fuck load of these things. Like, whole wall stacked full of them. So, and if anyone knows me, I'm a big solar panel fanatic. I mean like, man. So, what you get with these things? You get about 50 lights, about, I don't know, 30 something feet, 32 feet. 32 feet plus 8 feet of uh, wire for the solar panel. And today, not this, I'm going to show you what you get in it. There's a spike, there's a holder, there's another holder thingy, should be a wall mount. I'm hoping this wall mount is where I want to screw it. Underneath the plate. Oh, there's the whole mount. Okay, those are good to ha have around if you don't, um, if you don't use it, keep them. They're great to um, have for other things. Get this little solar panel inside. There's a three volt, three point two volt battery. A nice big one. It's not very strong, but you can always upgrade it to a nice stronger one. Here's your Christmas lights. And these are white ones, because I like white or blue. Now, today, I like to do one thing. There's one, make sure it's on. I want to test them. So we take the cover off. Just got to protect the cover, got a little groove. Groove. Uh, loosen everything. Sounds about right. Stick it in there, screw it in, water tights it. See if there's any power left. Get in there. There it goes. Cover over. This, it, this thing has any charge to it. Let's see. No. So it's dead. So let's turn it off and take it apart. Now there's quite a few screws. So. I'm going to jump cut. Uh, why are the people online still? Matthew says. Why do people keep on asking the same question? Uh, let's see. Um, we not here. We all die. Close enough. Don't care, I'm busy. Alright. Jump cut's not over yet. Go away. Okay. Jump cut. Now we pull it apart. That. Careful but not to wreck the wires. So you get this little battery that pops out. 3.2 volt battery that's uh, 1200 milliamps. Not too bad. Sure, these lights about six hours worth of light. Um, if it gets direct sunlight, pretty much all day long, you're gonna probably get nearly the whole night worth of power light. So that is good. So you got your solar panel, you got your charge controller, you got your battery pack, your on and off switch. Simple, simple, simple. And then you got your light diode right here that tells it when it's dark out. So what I'm going to do is give me this back. Hey, Chris and Hannah. Uh, uh, stop talking to me. I'm busy. Fuck off, Christopher. What? What did I say? Okay. That's interesting. I'll be right back. I need to get some wire cutters for this. Wires. I don't have my wire cutters with me. No. So 
to very carefully cut through all the wires and screw up everything. Got it. Okay, so got a power lead, got a positive, negative, or ground. Then we got a data lead. We don't need data. Data is no good for, it, for this project. And wires tangling up everywhere is no good either. I end up doing this to all my wires. I'll cut them and then I will go and um, and then I will go and uh, uh, throw them away after I'm done with them. And then I go, oh, I need another wire. And I cut them up and I have to find, spend an hour, find the wires that I should have kept anyway. It's raining all day here. Sweet, it's my favorite time. It's sunny here. That's why I'm putting up lights. I'd rather put them up in the rain myself. So we're going to attach the negative to negative. However you feel like attaching it. This temporarily because I got to do all five. I like to charge them, pre-charge them up. And then set them up. And then when it's, you know, uh, when it gets dark. This is also a good way to test out, make sure all, everything's working, make sure the battery's working. Before I plug the battery in, I'm going to get my multimeter out, my multimeter. Set it. I keep on looking. Is there a car in here? No oh, cameras, and I like to check, make sure that there's no cars kicking around. So my multimeter says zero voltage. Double check me sure I have it on the right setting. We have 0 0.05 volts. So that means a completely dead battery and may not charge. So this is a good way to make sure that it charges. So we're going to plug it in. All right? We're going to take the USB plug and plug it into your computer source. Now I gotta go plug my computer in because this is a gaming laptop, the MSI, and it only has a hour lifespan just by doing browser, not for gaming. Now if I play games, it'd be done in five minutes. So, uh. the cat is dying. We have to keep it alive. How? Keep on talking. Okay, just give you an update on the battery system here. We are 3.3 right now. We're supposed to be 3.2, but the thing is we have to put more power in to charge. Considering that batteries, though it says 3.2, it's actually probably a higher voltage battery, fully charged. So right now we're probably going to wait until it goes up to a little higher than 3.3 so you when you're charging batteries you always need to put more power in you don't have to put like a high amount of amperage in but you can put like a as long as you put a higher voltage than the battery itself like a car battery or a car volt battery it it charges between anywhere from 14 at the lowest charging to 15 16 volts now, though it's just cobalt, uh, cobalt battery, sometimes, well, most of them like to be 13, 14 volts fully charged. Uh, a car battery fully charged is a 14 volt. It likes that. A dry cell battery, um, container, whatever, um, sealed battery, that's 14 volt battery. Um, so you want to put in 15, 16 volts to get it to the fully charged. This is a 5 volt USB using my computer. 3 volt battery. Should be roughly perfect. Not just that, that um, this is a 1200 milliamps, so that's 1.2 amps. This thing's pumping in probably, um, it might regulate it to the right amperage, but it should be pumping about 2 amps in. And, um, and then, so yeah, and I'm not paying any attention to the chat room again. I always end up doing something other than pay attention to the chat room because I'm talking to 
New buds on the chat room. They're awesome. Jeffrey, when you get the rude ones coming in. And then they're not so... Or they, my buds are awesome, but the rude people are not so awesome. Okay, now we're outside, and today's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. And I hate it. Why can't it rain or snow? Anyway. Now it's time to put up the panels. So we got a stand. Not going to use the screws that it came with. I'm just going to use some easier screws. I've already done the front panels and the lights, so they're up. Only good thing about today is the sun's out and the panels you get in charge. Bad thing is. over there so just point this roughly there to do it. 